quick veggie stir fry. So uh, as in a lot of South Asian food, a lot of the work is done in the preparation, which I've already done here. I've got some onion, some garlic, I've got some uh, red peppers, I've got some white cabbage, some carrots and some courgettes or zucchini as you may know them. And um, going along the sides, I'm going to be cooking this one in corn oil. But the best oil to use for this, if you don't have a peanut allergy, is um, gram nut oil. I've got some water, I've got a, a shot glass full of water, I'll show you what that's for. Uh, I don't have any corn uh, flour in the house, so I'm using my uh, ordinary uh, plain flour or all-purpose flour shaker. I'll show you how that works in a minute. Um, for flavourings, I'm using uh, Chinese light soy sauce. This is a good one. Um, I'm using a Thai oyster sauce, although if you want to keep it totally vegan, you can use about a half teaspoon or a teaspoon of Marmite instead. Another one is a premium dark soy sauce, and I'm using just a little splash of that just for colour. I need some pepper, and that's a ground black pepper. Uh, you don't need any extra salt because there's plenty of salt in the soy sauce the oyster sauce and there's a little bit in the uh, dark soy sauce as well. Uh, the other thing you'll need is a pan with a lid which is something like this or, or you'll need um, a wok with a wok lid that'll do it as well so um, first of all you've got to get it really really hot into that you want what a tablespoon a couple of tablespoons of oil straight into your oil I go in with my onion my carrot and the cabbage and I give all that a good stir so it's stirred to coat it with the oil and the secret of stir frying is just to start keep keep move, keep things moving into that goes my garlic again give it a stir keep it moving really simple this one and I'm going to throw in my red peppers and courgette. Now you'll see I've cut the courgette slightly bigger than I have the other vegetables because it takes them less time to cook. So you want them in bigger pieces so they cook at around about the same time as the small bits. Now we want this to be a crunchy dish so we don't worry too much about overcooking it. You just want to cook it just enough. So keep, keep that stirring. So this is cooking at a very, very high heat at the moment. So you want to keep things stirring just to keep things off the bottom and stop them from burning. But it doesn't take long, just a few seconds. And then into that, I'm just going to put a splash, about, a, about two dessert spoonful of light soy sauce. Again, stir to mix. That coats the vegetables, giving it a great umami flavour. And just to get a little bit of colour into it, a tiny splash, maybe half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon in total. But just wing it, just do it by eye. And you want to get it to that stage where it starts to look like a nice Chinese stir fry, which it's doing now. And on top of that, I'm just going to put uh, a bit of oyster sauce. So it's going to be about a couple of dessert spoons full of oyster sauce and the other alternative is to use about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of Marmite. You can also use Japanese miso and I'm sure the vegetarians and vegans among you will know what that is. Many thanks to my sponsor Mr Paul for helping me bring you this video. Thank you very much my friend. Once it's in again, golden rule is to give it a stir. Now that's all stirred in and started frying. So my next trick is to put in a fairly large shot glass of water and then immediately cover it with a lid and let it steam. Okay, so after a minute of high steaming, we can open it up, take a look at it. By this time, the vegetables We'll still have a bit of crunch in them. Now all we need to do is concentrate on making 
turning the liquid in that into a nice sauce. So I'm just going to put shake a bit of this on. Not too much, stir it in, wait till it starts to thicken a bit. A little bit more. Stir it in. I find this is a really handy way of thickening stir fries. It saves you making up a slurry with uh, corn, corn flour or corn starch. You can just sprinkle it straight on. And once you've got to that stage, it's really starting to thicken now. You can add in a bit more water, make yourself a bit more sauce. So at this stage, I like to go in with a little taster. Yum. That's about right. And it really is that simple, boys and girls. A beautiful veggie stir fry. Now, some people um, like to stir in a little bit of sesame oil, but because I've used um, oyster sauce on this, I'm not going to. Um, but about a dessert spoon of sesame oil would go nice over it um, and give it some flavour, particularly if you're using the uh, Marmite option or the vegan option. A, a little bit of sesame oil goes nice on it. Just stir it in. Um, another addition would be a little bit of Chinese, Chinese uh, w uh, cooking wine, or you can use a very similar flavour profile would be to use a British standard dry sherry uh, for that. But you'd only want a little splash in there. But um, that's what you end up with. Okay, guys, if you want to help the channel, then you can like, subscribe and share and tell all your friends. Um, if you'd like to help uh, with a the donation, there's um, links below to Subscribestar and to PayPal. And there's also, for YouTube viewers only, there's the Super Thanks button just below this video. Thank you very much. Thanks in advance. So you can serve that with uh, rice or fried noodles or as part of a bigger Chinese-style banquet. Enjoy.